Okay. All right. What else, bud? Um, I think that that is about it. I mean, just like I had a couple notes about like if I was going to end up going back to Omaha, which is like if I, yeah, and doing like scuba and shooting and stuff. But I mean, that's probably like a down the road question. So, I mean, I, I if you're going to SEAL train, you got to bang out scuba, right? Okay. If you're going to, can you shoot right now? Yeah, I can shoot pretty well. Okay, then then nothing to worry about. Okay. okay. I tell you to start shooting your butt off. Get a beat. I tell everybody, you can't buy bullets at this point. So buy you a, yeah. they make an M4 BB gun and sit in the backyard okay. and shoot two hours a day. And just I'll work on check and see if, Huh? Yeah, I'll have to check and see if they can do that in California. They're kind of weird about that stuff out here. But definitely. Do you have a backyard in California? It's like 15 feet. <laughs> it's pretty tiny. I mean, that's all you need. Okay. You just need to be able, like, I can shoot in my bedroom, really. Like, I just need to shoot 10 feet. Okay. And make you make a cardboard, bo a cardboard box trap. Just take a cardboard box, fill it up with cardboard, okay, mm -hmm. vertically, and then shoot into that. The babies and BBs and pellets ain't coming out the back of that. Okay. You just got to work on putting a post in the middle of the circle. That's all you got to work yes, on, sir. just like that. So there's a circle, and you put the post in the middle of it like that, and you shoot. Right. And then you learn, yes, like, if it's over here, you can't do that. If it's, and then pretty soon, you just, you're able to see the sight picture, and then the BBs and the pellets start going where you want them to. Okay. So it's an M4-177... Crossman pellet gun, I believe. I think, I'm pretty sure. Because someone asked me that question that they were killing me about it. And I just Googled. Um, M4-177. Yep, Crossman oh, pellet gun. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right, what else you got, Mr. Miller? Uh, I think that's it for now. I, uh, I'll just, I'll get on that and I'll, uh, call you next, like next weekend basically and update you and hopefully I'll have good news for you. Are you running long run on Saturday? Yeah. Well, so yesterday I couldn't, so I was planning on doing it today, but, um, don't do that. Okay. If you don't run on Saturday, you don't do nothing on Sunday. Okay. Cause if you do long run on Sunday, then you mess up the whole week. Right. So you're better off just skipping a weekend than you are going to do it. Okay. Or you uh, could have did it Friday night, right? Like you do your speed run in the morning, you could have banged out a long run Friday night and just ate it. Okay. But, yeah, you can't – like I tell everybody, like don't, don't move nothing to Sunday because it messes up your whole week for training. Okay.